Roger Veers, Michael Venom Page, shiny pro record, more than 20 wins, just a couple of pro losses. This man is exceedingly hard to put away. He's made a career of putting the opposition away. This was one of the more highly touted free agents in all of mixed martial arts. We're very happy to have Michael Venom Page here in the UFC. But no rest for the weary, right? You knew that when they signed MVP, and if they were able to do so, they were going to be giving him tough challenges right out of the shoot, and that is precisely what is in front of Michael Venom Page here tonight. But a lot of people believe, even though MVP did not sign with the UFC until his late 30s, there's still plenty of fight left in this double. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Under. Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, he is ready to go. That means so are we for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Michael Payne. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So, her Dean third man Ready, in there fight. for this one. Ready. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Out of range with that one. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Left right combo is good. Doing work with the jab. Oh, back and forth we go. Watch that uppercut. Just look at the Just misses with the straight right. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Now he lands a shot to the leg. That is a damaging kick that Just over three minutes to go. Leave 
misses with the left hook. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Quick jab. Big shot to the body. Oh, another good body shot. Beautiful left punch. Put hands on him. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Back to the jab now, no good. side of his opponent, a lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show himself. Hands higher, hands higher. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Final seconds here. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Nice punch lands over the top. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Swinging a miss with that punch by Page. Just out of range with the big right hand. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Work that cut, work that cut. Oh, 
big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's still in the zone. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Come on, buddy. Keep your that punch, no good. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Try to establish that jab. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Push kick there to the body. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting... Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Under a minute now to go in the round. Just misses there with the left. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. These the kicks have come in bunches. There's another one. Snapping off that jab. Oh, nice kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Keep going again. Go again. 15 seconds. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round, underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Trying to hammer that lead leg. That one's not good. 
Nice strike. Circling away towards the left now. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Lee's able to land another strike right there, right on the previously damaged nose. No surprise to see the fight. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He's got to hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Three minutes now to go in this one. This is a great fight. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Come on, guys. Come on. Lee's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. Defense. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Body shot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. End this fight. End it. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Lee. Straight right, he misses. Short time now in the round. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. He's able to get that one blocked. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. You got to check these kicks right now, or that's going to happen. 15 seconds remain in the round. to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat. Three. Listen, that was awesome. And you need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. What a beautiful left punch that landed there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Leg kick checked by Page. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. He's hurting bad here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's throwing every part of his hip. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Beautiful kick lands there. Lee's limping right now. Clearly, that right leg is causing him problems. The last kick from his opponent appeared to do the most damage. Just over three minutes now to go. Unable to land with that touch. Big leg kick. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Under two minutes now to go. And he caught the kick. Fighting from both sides, lands in left hand. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Under a minute to go. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. Oh, what a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Fifteen seconds to go. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, 20 minutes oh. down, five to go. 
Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Someone's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cut. Beautiful left hand. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beats a jab there. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights, but when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Throwing that jab, no good. Lee gets touched by that leg. Oh, what a shot there on the inside. He's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Nice leg kick. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor. Because now, you start to worry about the blood going into the mouth, the blood going into the eyes. You just got to worry about the entirety of the face being covered from the cut. It, it, it's going to be hard for him to get through this. It's a no. Johnny hurt bad. He's hurting really, really bad now. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice shot to the body there. Lee's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Slips and rips. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. the jab nicely there. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Lee's eye now closing up. Rips the body there for good measure. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Trying to go the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice leg kick. Elbow now blocked by Lee. One minute to go in the fight. Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. 
This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corner's thinking about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not going to win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow for this guy to continue forward after this fight? Oh, he's, he's spraying blood now. Holy smokes. 20 seconds to go. Nice punch by Page. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Lee's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while. And oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest, 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. Declaring the winner, by unanimous decision, Michael Page.